What's up, YouTube world? Wanted to talk to you guys today about um, what it means to be in the lawn care business. You're growing the business. You're doing. Uh, you're adding new properties uh, every day, every week, every month, throughout the year. But we hit our high point of new uh, potential customers in the spring. Okay, with laying the groundwork there, you want to think about how do you go about uh, giving good selling points? Well, some of the bottom line uh, things to think about are key selling points. Uh, when you put a brochure out there, letter out there to realtors, to uh, property management companies, to uh, the decision maker, um, if it's the wife or husband or both together, um, you want to have ideas. So here are some of the ideas that I want to add to your uh, knowledge. Why it's important to understand that when you um, go out there and um, go the extra mile to make a yard look nice, to clean out the beds properly, to lay the uh, weed fabric down, to uh, lay all the proper toppings on top of that uh, after you planted everything, after you made the holes in the um, fabric, after you, you've done X, Y, and Z, and it adds up to looking correct, looking fantastic. Um, you've improved the, the property, and that's what we do in the lawn business. And that's an excellent selling point that you can give to realtors, property management companies, people that flip homes for a living. I have a bunch of people that I mow their yard. It might be three, four, or five times. It's a they're temporary, but they call me next year or you know later that season. I mean, there's plenty of people out there that are offering. Um, the opportunity to go out into their yard and improve the value of the not just the yard but the house the overall house value um, once you improve the the value of the house um, you increase the equity in the homeowner the property owner the management company overall value so you're not just somebody that shows up and does something once or twice a week and it doesn't matter it matters a lot here's some key um, key information and this is from the appraisal institute professionals providing real estate solutions uh, i believe they're out of chicago illinois um, landscaping a major contributor to property values according to the appraisal institute Okay, now this is, uh, looks like it's an article, um, May 3rd, 2016, the Appraisal Institute, the nation's largest professional association of real estate appraisers today, remind homeowners that attractive landscaping can make a major um, add in value to the home's overall value and can influence in owner's ability to sell their house so when someone's looking to sell a house to flip a property to increase the overall value in a neighborhood simple way of doing it is just going out there and making the yard look nice um, having really nice uh, grass having really beautiful flowers in the flower beds it doesn't have to be like edge to edge and flowers you know um, making the grass look nice it's uh, trimmed it's properly edged and uh, trimmed it's uh, you know you don't have a lot of thatch left on the lawn after you mowed it you cleaned that up you blew off the, the over, too much thatch in one area Wh whatever you know you may, maybe uh, you bag the, the lawn uh, to keep the thatch from getting too thick you aerate once uh, once a year uh, typically in the fall, um, you get three to six treatments of fertilizer on your yard. Um, 
there's just so many ways that we can help our customers, the homeowner, the, the person that hired us to come do their yard to increase the value. And they're going to appreciate that their home value goes up. They're going to call us back. If we do a professional job, keep the standards high, we can expect to get top dollar for the work we do if we provide top quality service. So just as uh, job seekers uh, shouldn't just show up inappropriately tired for a job interview, sellers need to ensure their property is as attractive from the outside as possible. And that's according to the uh, Appraisal Institute President Scott Robertson. Uh, he has a, a MAI, an SRA. He has another one. It's called AI-GRS. First Impressions Matter. That's what Mr. Uh, President Scott Robertson of the Appraisal Institute says. So if you want to... Um, help your property owner uh, increase their value. It's really simple. Work with them, figure out what they, what their budget is. It's important what the budget is because the budget is going to dictate what you can and cannot do, what you can afford to help the customer increase the value of the house, obviously. And you, you obviously you want to get paid and you want to stay within their budget and not stress them out. Uh, look uh, beyond lawns as part of, as part of a property's overall curb appeal, landscaping can include the following appearance of flower beds, lawn orna ornaments, um, front porch furniture. All should be uh, well kept in keeping with neighborhood standards. So if the HOAs uh, have a standard, uh, you, can, you should keep within it. If the city um, code says no couches, which is like indoor furniture on the, on the front porch. Obviously, you don't put a couch that's supposed to be inside on the outside. Uh, quick, inexpensive updates include refreshing the mulch around shrubs, adding uh, potted flowers, edging the lawn. Uh, go native and dust uh, in certain plants uh, from the area. Um, so native environmental plants that require less care water fertilizer to 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 make it a lot inexpensive some people don't have a lot of time to water the flowers and keep up with stuff so they're going to hire us to do it but if we install it they're not probably going to pay us a lot to maintain it um, you can add uh, landscape Lighting, effective outdoor lighting puts a spotlight on the home's architect. Landscaping provides safety and security. So these are additional selling points. Um, plant trees, they add beauty, possibly increase the property value, reduce energy consumption, soil runoff, as well as improve air quality. And according to the U.S. Department of Energy, carefully placed trees can provide shade from the hot uh, summer sun block winter winds saving up to 25 percent of the typical home's energy use so there you're, you're increasing the value of the house and saving the uh, homeowner uh energy use homeowners can use the uh, natural tree benefit calculator to calculate uh, how a tree would benefit a home including its um Overall property values increase with the environmental impact. So you just go to uh, National Tree Benefit Calculator, look it up on uh, Google.com, and it's going to pull it up. You can find it. Fantastic. There we go. Thanks again. And if you like the uh, subject matter here, uh, subscribe and like, and uh, stay tuned for more um, interesting things that you can use to uh, increase your uh, business. Thanks.